Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're here with our third and final part of the second episode of In the Studio, and we've got our third, no, our second guest, our special guest, Admiral Bulldog himself, the offlaner for Team Alliance. Bulldog, my friend, how are you? Bulldog. Hello? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> hey there. Are you, are you in Siberia? You're cutting off a little bit for me. Did yeah, you say he, something? This is super <laughs> laggy. Uh-oh. Okay, maybe he's just not hearing us. Can you hear us now, buddy? Yeah, no, I can hear you. Okay, great. So, um, how are you? How's it going? How are things Alliance side? Uh, everything is going uh, great. Uh, what can I say? Uh, so far, I've watched your show. It's it's really fun. Oh, thank you. We appreciate that. It's it's even better now that you're on here. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the show's losing something, though. We can't have Bulldog effectively trolling the chat as yeah. well as on the show. Like, it's just not the same. How good is your multitasking? Are you able to like troll Twitch chat while you play official matches? Are you able to troll Twitch chat while you're like Skyping your team, your girlfriend? Like, How good can you multitask your Twitch chat trolling? Well, generally when we play, I, I have the stream up on the side, but I pause it, so I, you know, I don't want to stream slide. Obviously, but uh huh, sure. No, you know, I never streams. I've been accused for it a few times, but uh, just just some trolling here and there. Okay, here and there, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Bulldog, what do you think about the current state of Dota right now? We want to start macroscopically, and we're going to kind of work our way in here. We have some specific heroes we want to get your take on. But uh, what do you think about six point eight in general? Do you like where Dota is right now as a game with its current balance? Yeah, it's uh, it's it's good right now. I think there are a few things that are probably broken. Um, like I don't like how Ember Spirit is, is right now, but there's so many things that are popping up. I mean, it's fairly new as well. Um, you know, it, it's pretty early to say, but so far it's it's very versatile and fun. Mm -hmm. uh, Lone Druid has been buffed, so that makes me happy. I when, bet. Uh, and, and you were responsible for that, right? Yeah, when Icefrog uh, showed the first initial draft of the patch, there was no laundry change. So, of course, I had to whine on him a little bit, so <laughs> he ended up doing this change. And uh, it's it's actually quite a big change. It's uh, it's mainly for Maelstrom, you don't have to go Rainus anymore. But he got the stealth yeah. nerf on the return cast point. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, did, I didn't bullshit. notice that first. I hate it. Well, I did notice it once, but... Uh, I asked, I, uh, I asked Cyber uh, Matt about it, and uh, it annoys me that they don't uh, or show these changes because there are probably a lot of that we don't know about, and it's really annoying, really yeah. annoying actually. So, what did you think about the change to the offline? Six point seven. Now we're going back a little bit. Is offline better now? Is it easier? Is it harder? Does it favor some heroes? Uh, it's a lot easier now, for sure. You can mm -hmm. ease. I mean, before you always got zoned out. Basically, no matter what you did, you either had to have a hero that, like Bounty or Fury, that could do something crazy, like pull uh, something like that. But now, basically, any hero is is viable. You see Centaurs and and Nyx, uh, you've probably not seen before. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's it's a lot more fun to play now since there's such. You know, maybe now I can increase my hero pool. That'd be nice. <laughs> So yeah, we're getting a bit bored watching you play. So that, that probably would be good. Yeah, I'm kind of sick of Fury right now. We haven't had that much success with him, so I think we're moving away from him and uh, back to Lone Druid. Yeah, <laughs> oh, Jesus. that's good. Really, uh, really switching it can't, up a lot. Can't there. Wait. Thrilling stuff. Woo! <laughs> Alliance have big plans for the future. They win <laughs> TI4 playing Lone Druid. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Uh, Bulldog, if you were going to design a Nature's Prophet set. What would you be looking for? What is your ideal cosmetic for Nature's Prophet? Uh, can you repeat that? I didn't. I didn't hear it. Cut off. God, it was such a good question too. Yeah, yeah he was asking um, Nature's Bulldog Nature's Prophet cosmetic set. What are your kind of your go-to features, and what, what would it look like? Uh, <laughs> it's obvious. Well, I, I think there's one coming, uh, but I don't know if it will involve a rat. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> Could you even make make the treants little spirit bears? Uh, I don't think Val would approve of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're doing we're we're, we're doing a uh, lone druid set as well coming up. Okay. And, uh, you know, initially we were talking with Val if we could do like a bulldog instead of a bear, but it was a little bit too much. Uh, so 
but at least there is a laundry set on the way as well. So the guy who's making it is going to stream it as well, live, on a live uh, workshop, I believe, coming up in a month. So mm -hmm. there are two sets coming up for those, which is going to be fun. You're going to be cashed up. Yeah. What do, you, what do you spend all your big esports dollars on? Dog food? Uh, yeah, pretty much. The dogs are really expensive. Yeah. We, we don't really buy anything flashy with the money. The gamer life. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. talk to us about your dogs a little bit. Uh, I know after TI3, that was one of the things you spent some of those hard-earned earnings on. Uh, what breeds are they and what are their names? Those are two questions that we got repeatedly from curious viewers. Well, at first I was just going to buy one dog and a bulldog. Uh, however, I decided against it because they are basically one of the least healthiest breeds. Yeah. Uh, so to compensate, I needed two dogs to make up for it. And uh, one is uh, a uh, Basset Hound, which is called the black one, which is called uh, Tiberius. And uh, the other one is a white one, the Chow Chow, which is called uh, Caesar. Wow. This is some solid names. Yeah, that's yeah. Tiberius. I, yeah. I like Are you a fan yeah. of uh, Roman history? Uh, also, I just like that era, whether it's fiction or documentary. But I was thinking about some daughter related names first. Uh, you know, Akia had uh, Shiva and Midas for his cats. <laughs> but that's That's so bad. So I decided to have something, a real name. Okay. <laughs> I, I, the question that I, we don't even written down, but I remember asking some of my fans if you had. Theoretically, had a kid, and you had to name them after a Dota character. Which Dota character would it be? Like, uh, what is it like? Who, I is, just, who is writing these questions? No, that, that was came up. Look, I, I, there's a. Don't there's, you have like a filter where it's like, hmm, is this a good question no, to be asking? I just, to give some some context, the Maneski CEO, his he named his child Riley, like after Crystal Maiden. So like using some of their Dota one names. So he has Riley, and then he was going to name. If he had a boy, he was going to name it Roshan. So he was going to have Roshan and Rylan. So, so it doesn't have to be like the like nature's prophet. It'd be like no, a no. name, name like no. Furion or whatever. Yes, a sure. Koya. It's actually it's a Koya. What what would be your what would be your go-to name, Bulldog, as far as naming your child, boy or girl? Uh, it it would have to be Scylla, I think it, it it's a good name. Come on, Scylla. 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 That's not it's bad. Also, it could be for a, a female and a male as well. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, debatable, I think. Right, well, you guys as well. What, what, what's your go-to kid's Dota name? A Nubricon. Who's a Nubricon? <laughs> <laughs> Is that the Nyx assassin? It's, it's one of the both. It was more that he had it so quickly that he's <laughs> oh, thought about this oh, before. Oh, no, I, mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I, my, I, my, I don't my know. would definitely be Kel Facade, so... <laughs> it's like the most evil problem. child ever. <laughs> wow. wow. I, I kind of like Rexar, honestly. Okay. Come here, little Rexar! It sounds like a dog's name, not a kid. Yeah, okay, maybe that's a better better for a pet, not a Jesus. kid. I don't know, I can't get in the, the zone of You're gonna of put parenting. a leash on that kid while you're at it? Lion. You can't name him Lion. Lion? Lion's not bad. Lion? Lion? Is, that, is that his actual name? Demon Witch. Yeah. Demon yeah. Witch, yeah. Lion the Demon Witch. If it was a girl, Lena. That's a good one. Name is good. I'd name her Lena. It's a good, strong name. Cute. Good, strong name, Lena. Toby would name it Lena. Davian, I like Davian. Like, from the DK. Knight Davian? Oh, oh, Davion, yeah. Davion? I don't know. Davion. I'm Australian. We don't, we don't pronounce stuff correctly. So, Bulldog, this would not be an appropriate interview if we didn't ask you about what's going on between you and Shiver. Uh, when's the wedding? <laughs> the wedding with me and Shiver? Yeah. Uh, you know, I wish that would happen. You know, when I, once I got my dogs, you know, they take a lot of care. The idea was for Shiver to come here and, and uh, help me take, take, take care with them. But... Uh, after she friends on me, my plans have been ruined. So I don't know if there's gonna be a wedding. She's a cat lady, isn't she? She's got a cat. Yeah. 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 So how how do, how have you worked that out yet? I know sometimes cat owners, dog owners, they they don't get along too well. She would just have to. Well, it's either me or the cat. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so, so so Shiva didn't work out. Is the backup plan S four or who, who's the backup plan? Can you repeat that? Who, who's the backup plan now that Shiva didn't work out? Have you got like S4 lined up or? <laughs> well, yeah, S4, he's uh, a tough one. I'm not sure if he's uh, if he's straight or not yet, so I'm just <laughs> filling that out. We usually share rooms, so probably S4. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Very good. So we want to ask you about a couple of heroes, Bulldog. First one that comes to mind is the Dwarven Sniper. How do you see him in the metagame right now? <laughs> 
How would you like to see him used more? I know you're quite a big fan. I've watched your stream a little bit. Talk to us about Sniper. We've seen your offlane Sniper in action. Yeah. It's dubious. Uh, Worm Sniper, I played him offlane at quite, quite some times in pubs, and uh, he works there, at least in pubs, probably not in uh, competitive. We did use him once, and it failed miserably. <laughs> did you see uh, the team uh, CIS from China? Where they ran like Sniper Skeleton King, that was their gimmick? I think I saw some Skeleton King games and he probably can work if he had one more active ability. I mean, his ult is actually pretty good. The slow is, is quite insane. Uh, but Sniper, he, he works really good in certain drafts. That's why he probably is pretty good in like Captain drafts. Uh, yeah. But in, in other games, I don't know. How about not in the off lane? Is he more viable in the mid uh, in context of competitive or as just a position one in like a tri lane? I think you would have to run him mid because yep. he could do well in that lane. And Tev Sniper as a main carry generally doesn't work. Uh, if he, he just dies too easily. If he gets initiated on, he, he just dies. Yeah, that, that is one of his issues. He needs a big, strong man in the front lines to protect him, dude. That's that's where the Skeleton King comes in. He's perfect. That's where the Scylla Bear comes in. Ah, <laughs> now you're talking. Always goes back to the Scylla Bear. So how about some of these heroes that haven't been reintroduced into Captain's mode? The first that comes to mind for me is Broodmother as a potential offlane hero. Do you ever practice your Broodmother in, in the pub scene? I played her a lot during 79. Uh, she's pretty fun. Uh, but now that she was nerfed, I'm, I've actually not played her after she was nerfed, uh, so I can't say how big that nerf was. I seem to remember you getting a little salty on Twitter about the nerfs. <laughs> Do I? You had some choice <laughs> words for the balance of the new balance of uh, Broodmother. I forget exactly what you said, but you were not pleased with the nerfs. About uh, which hero? Broodmother. Broodmother. I don't remember that. Did I what? say that? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was you. I mean, you're like the only guy who was really grinding a lot at the time. <laughs> well, maybe it was. Uh, but again, I haven't played her in the new patch. I probably should. And if she was released now, I think she'd still be viable. Because she's so annoying to deal with. Having to buy dust in the uh, sentries is just makes the enemy support poor. And, and her webs are so large now still, so. Do you think it's about time she gets introduced into captain's mode? Or do you think she still needs a little bit of balance before then? I think she needs like some minor buffs, actually, oh. with the nerfs she got. I mean, what she really needs is just like the spirits work for the for the spirit heroes, so they load up, so you can have like three webs loaded up and ready, so you can just TP into a fight mm -hmm. and actually put some webs out and fight. Because outside she's her web, she's useless. That's her problem. Right? So she kind of like Ember Spirit, you're saying? Yeah, pretty much. That would be interesting. What, what do you think about that, Ben? Would that that seem balanced? Yes. She yeah. just can't. She can only do one thing right now, which is pressure her lane. She can't TP and help out on team yeah. fights. So. If you can have two or three webs, you could theoretically yeah. actually come to a fight. With and she's used outside web. a web. Yeah. Yeah. That would be cool. Ice frog. You were talking about her being the worst hero in Dota. That is absolutely that was, not true. No. Uh, I think not the worst. I thought Bru new Brute's What do you think is the worst hero in Dota? Yeah. <laughs> Bulldog. Um. Hmm. I don't know. Pro probably Bloodseeker. We played a scrim against him. Recently, and he's just, he had a great start, but then he's just useless. What about Spirit Breaker? That's Merlini's vote. Actually, I played against Spirit Breaker today against Arteezy. Uh, How'd that go? And I won. So that's, that's about that hero. <laughs> <laughs> if you beat Arteezy, it must be a pretty bad hero, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how about some of these new heroes? What do you think about Phoenix? Um... I think he's probably way too strong. A good Phoenix player, like I've only played him once, but if you just in a, in a team fight, she just comes in, hits her uh, slow on like two heroes and just ults. Like everyone just have to run, and then you just kill everyone, and yeah, then all her spells are refreshed. Like that, it's that, too strong. That hero is just it's fucked, man. I I don't know <laughs> for lack of yeah. a better word. I think it's actually the perfect word. It's it's fucked. I don't know. Yeah, Tower Blade seems pretty. Imbalanced as well, to be honest. At least he's he's not one of these flashy heroes that just jumps around and everything. You, you can actually gank him and he's there. And although he has a solution that tricks your mind a bit, but he's not at least that as flashy as the other heroes that usually comes out these days. 
Mm -hmm. So how about Earth Spirit? That's one of the last heroes I wanted to ask you about. Obviously, Earth Spirit was super, super imbalanced, and then he got beat upside the head with the nerf stick, and now Ember Spirit's looking a little, a little bit weak. What's your take on him, Bulldog? Uh, well, like I haven't seen him played in forever, actually. Not even pubs. Uh, he was broken as hell. Probably the most broken hero ever, for as long as I have played. Uh, so since I haven't seen him after that, I can't really say I've I have refused to play him as well because he was so stupid. Uh, <laughs> but Good. Now, I don't, At I least there's somebody no, with I honor in the team. Him, so he, he has stun silence, so maybe he can be viable if he was released in competitive. But uh, yeah, I can't say really. Yeah. Dude, that hero just disappeared. There's like every pub game, people are like, oh, yeah. I need, need that sweet MMR, you know. Yeah. Gets the nerf stick and... Nobody even bothered to play it. Well, his like, win rate wasn't yeah. that high, but at the top MMR, it was ridiculously yeah. high. If you looked at his overall win rate, it was not that impressive. His well, new win rate's like down near like... 40. Stupid. It's like he's, 40, he's also yeah. just a more complicated hero in some ways than a yeah. lot of the other existing heroes. Like, sure, mm -hmm. once you get used to him, it wasn't that hard to do his combo, but... Yep. Um, yep. I think a lot of people just saw Jerax, and it's like, this guy's 6k MMR, he's never been on a big-name team, so clearly something's working with Earth Spirit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Bulldog, we've seen uh, Alliance experimenting out a little bit with different heroes. We've seen S4 playing Shadow Fiend. Uh, we actually saw one earlier today. We have saw uh, S4 playing Tinker. We got to see you playing Centaur War Runner the other day. Can you talk to us about that a little bit and uh, Alliance trying out new heroes? Is that part of a secret strategy for TI4? Or are you guys just trying to broaden the horizons a little bit? Well, yeah, with all the these patches, you, you have to adapt. I mean, they're all style doesn't really work anymore and uh, since Lord is picking as well he's he's uh, he likes to pick all kinds of heroes and we try out a lot of stuff like in the scrim he he decided to pick uh, Phantom Lesser off lane for himself <laughs> and he uh, he was like zero four within five minutes it was, <laughs> oh, good. didn't really quite work out so but yeah we try a lot of new things we take a lot of inspiration from the Chinese scene and and, you know, the ones that were doing well, really, like, is here, uh, teams like DK and uh, Empire, you really want to look at how they do it and just try to do it better. So you're yeah. not just watching our Chinese Dota cast to troll our Twitch chat. You're actually trying to it's learn work. a thing or two. Yeah, well, well, what's the percentage of, like, trolling versus actually watching the game? That's actually what I'm curious about. <laughs> well, I mainly watch it to troll the chat. And just, you know, the chat experience is... It's more fun than the game usually. <laughs> <laughs> is that shots fired at Chinese Dota or just watching Dota in general you find boring? Well, Chinese Dota has been a lot better. You know, it, it's pretty action packed most of the times. Yeah. So it gets the bulldog like paw of approval, I guess. <laughs> it does. Okay. Who who do you, uh, coming looking I mean TI4 is getting closer and closer. What do you like if you had to say TI4 was played tomorrow, who would be your pick for the top 3 at TI4? Um to be 100% honest, I would probably say DK, Empire, and Navi. I don't okay. think we would be there right now. I mean, we're doing good, but we're not doing great right now, so. Yeah. What is the secret to Empire's win streak right now? What What are they doing right that no one else seems to be? Yeah, who, who knows? I mean, we played them once, and uh, it was the best of three, and we lost to them, but we get, went 2-1, and... It was pretty even, so I think we definitely could beat them. And I don't, I think they're not that strong, really. I feel like they're just on a good roll. It's probably going to end soon. And uh, I don't know, they just have some good heroes, I guess. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some good players, too, I like to think. Yeah, they do for sure. Good I luck. mean, they're good luck. On a roll. Good luck. Look at this. You guys are shitting all over Empire. Yeah. He's they've been, they've he, been beating everyone. They did overrated. lose this morning, though. Yeah. yeah. They lost the next KZ. Yeah. yeah. Come on. They lost the next KZ. Did they have their full five? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. It was serious. It I'm was like digging for excuses here. Oh. Were they hunt over? That I can't speak to, but okay. very possible, I suppose. Did they pick sniper? No. No. <laughs> they had a pretty normal draft. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think they were a slightly weaker draft. But. Next KZ does pull off these random upsets, though. Like, I feel like all the CIS teams are like each other's we kryptonite. Saw, we saw yeah. four Shadow Fiends stay in style out of Europe, and I think every Shadow Fiend won. Not to say that they won because of the And Shadow they all Fiend. got Blink first. Yeah. No, not the fourth one. Oh, not the yeah, Okay, yeah. the first three. The three that I casted, it was always Shadow Fiend, yeah. Power Treads into Blink, which is just a little bit different. We've seen Shadow Fiends kind of steer away from the Blink. What do you think about that, Bulldog? How, how is Blink on Shadow Fiend? We saw S4 do it yesterday. I, I think it's 
probably a core item. It's, I mean, he needs that uh, mobility. If he has it, he's... I mean, otherwise, if he doesn't have it, he just runs and clicks heroes. With this mobility, he can blink in an ult with BKB. Everyone has to run. Yes. Yeah. yeah. As, as far as the new blink goes, like, I mean, I would brought up with Ben, like, it almost seems a bit too cost effective. Like, I like the no mana thing, but I think it almost needs to be a more expensive item, like 2.3k, 2.4k, or do you feel like blink dagger's okay as it is? I, I could see a small increase in, in, in how much it costs, but it's, it's made a lot of heroes viable, so I, yeah. it's, it's pretty nice, actually. So, I don't know, it's, we could just wait a patch and see. How about Shadow Blade on sort of the flip side? Because, I mean, one of the things with the Blink buff is Shadow Blade already got just trashed by the nerf. Seems like a pretty questionable item most times. Because it used to be like you'd be like three, what was it, like two-thirds of the time you could be invis? Yeah. And now and now it's like less than half. So, yeah. That was one of your favorite items, buddy. Do, do, you, do you think it should be buffed back a little bit? What would you change with it? I remember when they buffed it like way back in... It had like insane durations, as you said. Like you can, you can be in this like two of, third of the times, and I knew that was going to be so good. Especially in pubs, it was going to be a nightmare. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but now it's been nerfed a lot, and it's it's pretty fine the way it is. I don't. I think it's. I don't know. It's been in direct nerf to uh, Furions so much uh, since it was a core item with him, and people still get it sometimes with him now, but. It just always feels very underwhelming, like whenever you see a Furion with a yeah. Shadow Blade. I like it yeah, on some heroes, like your Dragonite and stuff, but I don't... The Furion is like, yeah. Yeah, you really don't see it too often anymore. You should just get it for, you know, pick-offs. If you have like a yeah. Nike sticking green to you or something like that. Yeah. So, Bulldog, we're pretty much close to the end here. There is one last thing I wanted to ask you about, and I've heard some people talk about Stockholm kind of becoming the new esports capital of the world, especially with the GD studio working with TV6, which is a major uh, television network for you guys over there. And also the, the death of StarCraft II, ripping pieces. Yeah, sorry, StarCraft. But um, do you have any thoughts about that? Is it, like, being a Swede, does it feel like that it's really growing in, in popularity and culturally it's very accepted to be a professional gamer over there? We're still struggling with that here in the States. Well, I mean, since I just sit in and play computer games all day, I never go outside, so I don't really know that much about it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds <laughs> like I'll see He'll take, take your word for it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's pretty accepted in Sweden. Uh, we have really great possibilities to do it here as well. I mean, Swedish players usually do well in, in most games because we have great internet, uh, we have great opportunities to play the game, we have access to uh, it's good computers and all that stuff, so... But, you know, if, this, if the older generation just die out, then just wait for that. Just let them die out. <laughs> if all those old folks would just die already, we could, I just need to we could get gaming get in the... Planet. Oh, man. Well, there's your soundbite for the day. Yeah, thank you for that, Bulldog. Uh, <laughs> Classic. So, uh, anyone, anyone else? Uh, do we have anything else we want to add here before we wrap up? I'm done. No, we're all good. I, I just hope I get an, a wedding invite. That's all, really. Yeah. I know she. I saw Shaver's in the chat, so I haven't seen her talking though. I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing, but if you, if there's any way I can be of service, buddy, tell, put in the good word for you. You know, we'll do what we can. <laughs> all right. The look on his face right now is just like. <laughs> Just like, are they I, done yet? I couldn't hear what you said. It was like breaking okay. up. Yeah, we, we may have some mic issues to sort out. Yeah. yeah. Actually, you know what? It's both of the guests' fault. Fucking Matt is a shitty pair of headphones. Bulldog is a shitty pair of headphones. There you go. It's not our fault. Give, a, give it back to him. Oh, sorry. I was just saying, like, I hope I get invited to the wedding. That's all. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, Bulldog, again, thank you for your time. Uh, where can people find you? Plug some social media sponsors. The floor is yours, my friend. Yes. Plug some. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if he's trolling us or if he actually can't hear us. Uh, tell, tell us where. Tell us your Twitter and how people can follow you. <laughs> Stop it, dude. Okay. Uh, it's breaking out like I can't hear. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, sure. Let's, sure. Inter let's interview him through the chat. Okay. <laughs> we'll just do that. Sh shout outs. Shout outs. Sponsors. Twitter. End of interview. Anything you want to say? Oh, go ahead. Uh, sure. Shout outs to our sponsors: HyperX, Monster, uh, Racer XMG, and uh, shout out to Twitch Chat and uh, Don Greeno. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh boy. Well, once again, thank Bulldog, you. thank Thanks. you very much. Sorry for the minor audio issues, but we really appreciate you making some time for us and coming on. I know you're a busy man and you don't like to do interviews too often, so we really appreciate it. But, uh, fellas, that wraps up episode number two of In the Studio. We'll be uh, back with one last segment. Yes, all oh, right. So we'll be cutting and uh, then yeah, Thanks, we'll be Bulldog. coming back. I think with... we've got a little more, a little oh. more singing on the agenda. Do we have time? You guys Do are we... casting in 30 minutes. We've got time. Oh, yeah, we've got time. Do okay. we have singing for today? Yeah. yeah. Yay. On the day until we're all done. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so we'll be back with another song. I don't know what... We have a list. The people who meant to tell us what songs we're singing haven't actually given us like, we a have good some. list. We have some. But... Okay. I think right. there, there's some solo LD songs. Oh, maybe, oh. We do a, maybe we do an LD solo today. Well, it's not like you even like put out for that song, dude. You like barely made an effort. Look, my parents saw that. They flamed me for it. They said you should. That never was embarrassing. Sing. But then they also said, in fairness, LD you shouldn't had the, say neither. No, they, they said, in fairness, you had the harder part. That was probably my parents make me feel better, but <laughs> they said I had the harder part, and I, I had to agree. There you go. Well, what, whatever helps that's you sleep at night, talk. buddy. Yeah, that's that's loser talk right there. <laughs> okay, <laughs> then you take my spot. Ben, you want to sing? It's not my job. Look at this! He's <laughs> fucking dodging. Jeez. You made promises, man. Unacceptable. Land of broken promises. Yeah, he's already started e fulfilling his Kickstarter reward. Or his, uh, I'm supposed to wrap some time, rewards. Okay. You wanna, yeah, we can wrap, wrap up next, LARP. Officer next Merlini. week doing a wrap on, on the show. I'm so ready for this. <laughs> We're all ready for this. What, song? what songs do we have? We'll play uh, bad, bad, we'll boy about bad boys. It. Bad boys. Oh god. All right. We'll have That's to think about rap, it. Right? We'll be back with uh, yeah. Yeah. Singing. Yeah. And one more announcement. But yes. Yeah, one more announcement. So that wraps up the episode, though. We've got extra stuff, so worth sticking around, guys. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next Sunday, same place, same time.